All right guys, so I'm back with another video. This time I'm gonna show y'all how to fix uh, this crap right here. Um, and how to get this character to import in the pose that you exported it as as well. Uh, so let's get started. Um, first off, what we're gonna do is we're going to export our character. So I'm going to go ahead and export him. And let me just delete these folders here. Make sure export preview uh, mesh is selected right here. And then you're going to uh, first we're going to need to open this up in Blender. So if you don't have Blender, you're going to have to download it. Just select General, press A to delete, uh, select everything and delete to delete it. And then we're going to go to Import, FBX. We're going to need to go to that folder where we saved this at. We're going to need to use UE uh, or Unreal Engine import settings. So that is negative X forward on the forward and Z on the up. X primary, Y secondary. Uh, yeah, just like that. And if you want to save this as a preset, you can press this and name it. And then once you've uh, brought it in here, uh, if you import this it's into Character Creator 4, it's going to assume that this is the root bone and your root bone is going to be named MW Style 2 Mel if you're using this character. Uh, if you import this into iClone uh, or if you export it from Character Creator into iClone and you export it, this uh, is going to be renamed root and this is going to be renamed root underscore zero. Uh, and any bone, IK bones under this is going to be renamed IK foot underscore root underscore zero, so on and so forth. So how do we fix this? It's actually not that difficult. Just select your root right here. Go to object. Go to parent. Clear and keep transform. Then delete that. Now select, and this is a... Uh, Reillusion's fault. It's not Unreal's fault. Unreal has always done this, and uh, they've been around for a lot longer than uh, Reillusion has. Uh, so press Tab to go into Edit Mode, or come up here and go into Edit Mode. Now you're going to expand these right here until you see all of your IK bones. Make sure you select the the first one, and then Shift select all of them, so you're not deleting everything like I almost just did. Press delete in your viewport and your delete screen will come up, select bones, and it'll delete those. And then you should only have root, root, pelvis. That's all you want. Uh, this too. This is your mesh. So with all of that done, we're going to export this. Back in here, we're going to export it as fixed. And then I'm going to select my UE export settings. I'm going to check that. And I'll go ahead and show you negative X forward Z up. Smoothing is face, not normals only. So I'm just changing it to face for Unreal because that's what Unreal likes. X and Y and then export. Now back in Character Creator 4, I'm going to go to File, Import, Import. And I'm going to import this one. Select Apply. Select Unreal Base Character. If you don't have that, I'll go ahead and show you what to do. It'll uh, just do that. Well, if, if it only says CC game, just cancel it and then come over here to the folder icon. Scroll all the way down. Go to Unreal Base. Select OK. OK. And there you go. Um, oh, you have to select Active to activate. So you'll see. There we go. So if you can get away with this, though, I would highly recommend using uh, the Unreal base character preset from here when it's first importing it because there's less chance of error. Some, some characters I've exported, 
didn't give me that option and I had to use that other method. So if you come over here to bone, you can now see that we don't have IK bones and our root bone is actually root, which is what we want. There is one other thing we have to fix though on export. They also fuck it up. So let's fix that as well. So go to selected and I always select delete hidden faces just to be safe. Uh, cancel that because we want to set our pose. Go under uh, animation, pose, uh, calibration, and open a pose. And then export that. Selected character. Export. Find your folder or create one so there's that one now what we can do is I'm going to also show you all how to uh, fix it for I clone because it's different for both. Um, yeah. So just export. Ignore that. It, it'll still export fine. We always want to use 30 frames per second right there. Uh, if you're doing an animation, do the range and it'll do this range right here. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to do the current frame. I'm going to leave all that alone. Export. I actually don't know if I exported that or not. I don't think I did. I think I just made the folder. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it didn't. I must have canceled when I pressed enter. Guy 2. Save. Is that... Okay, this is bugging out. Um, let's close this. Apparently, if you leave these open for too long, they bug out. So we're going to go to export. Uh, send to iClone. Send to iClone. Uh, character creator also bugs out if you leave it open too long in the background so keep that in mind so give it a second sorry for the wait I didn't expect iClone 8 to bug out like that on me that's the first time I've seen iClone 8 do it normally it's just character creator So after it's loaded fully, we'll export, export FBX, same procedure, change this to 30. If you get tired of changing this to 30, go to your project tab and change it to 30 and it'll permanently do that every time you export. Now it's working. Okay. So with both of those exported, uh, what we're going to do is... I'm just going to come back over to this folder and we're going to go to new, select A, press A and delete and then we're going to go to import FBX and let's see. I did not select my import settings before I did that. So you'll see that we have this extra bone right here. What they did is they actually parented this root bone to a new bone 
and exported this one as the actual root bone. So this bone does not get animation data baked to it. So we need to delete this bone and and we need to rename this one. Uh, that's just for character creator. So what we need to do is select our armature, go into edit mode, expand this, select pelvis, go down here to bone properties, relations, and change this to RL. Oops, for all of these that were under the root bone. And now we select the root bone and hover over the viewport and press delete and then select a bone. And now we have a proper hierarchy, but we still need to rename this. So we're going to rename this root. And that's it. So press tab or go back to object mode and now export it. Select UE export. If you don't have it, make it again, face, X and Y. Don't add leaf bones. Everything else is the same except for this, 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 and that. So now we're just going to overwrite this. I'm going to press A to select everything and press delete. And then I'm going to import the other one just to show you the difference. And now you'll see it's the same thing except root is actually called root now. We don't have to rename that. Uh, whereas before it was called RL bone root. So it's the same concept, go into edit mode, get your pelvis, set that as root. And then delete the root underscore zero bone. And then go back into object mode. That's all you have to do for this one. There's just one less step, that's it. And make sure that your settings are still for UE export. And then overwrite that one. And now uh, I'm going to go ahead and create two new folders here. I'll just call this one CC4 and this one iClone8. And then under CC4, I'm going to uh, import. And then uh, we're going to select this. I've already added the plugin right here. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, there's plenty of tutorials on it. Select OK. And then uh, what you need to do is you need to make sure that, uh, well, when you open it up, it'll look like this. Uh, so I didn't actually rotate these. I didn't actually rotate these. So you'll see that there's a negative 90 degree offset. That's okay. Uh, you can uh, do that in here. I'll go ahead and show you how actually. Just uh, type in zero right here and then go to object, apply, and rotation. So you can do it that way or you can uh, just come down here and uh, select force front X access. Make sure that's checked and it'll it'll automatically uh, fix that for you uh, as long as you're exporting it from Blender. If you're exporting it from something else, it may not fix it. It may cause it may break it. So with that said and out of the way, uh, you could uh, theoretically select the original uh, skeleton. And so I guess for this one, I'll go ahead and do that. And it'll import it, but it'll it'll have it sharing that skeleton. I don't actually like to do that though. Uh, so I'm just gonna import it like that normally. Uh, what you can, because it allows you to make sure that there's nothing messed up on it before it does it. And you'll see that everything's fine now. Uh, so if you want to do it afterwards, you can come up here to skeleton and go to assign skeleton, and then you can change it to uh, the actual uh, skeleton 
right here. And now if you go and right click and go to find skeleton, it'll take you to this, to the original skeleton. So that's how you, how you can do that. Now we'll do the, we'll import the iClone one and it's the same concept. If you didn't uh, apply that rotation in there, uh, then, and you know, you have to apply the rotation, remove the rotation and apply it. If you didn't do that, uh, just use this right here. Uh, and then uh, make sure T use T0 as ref pose is checked. If this isn't checked, that base pose that you exported it as will be will be imported as a set, as an animation and your character will come in and in the T pose. So don't do that. Uh, don't, don't forget to use T zero as ref pose. So and now you'll see this one came in correctly too. And again, we can reassign the skeletons. And when we do that, you'll see these go dark because uh, we changed the skeleton and it broke those animations. So, which those really were poses, not animations. It does that, I don't know why. Anyway, if you guys found this helpful, make sure to like down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Make sure you raise hell with Reillusion over this issue because they really need to fix it.